we're on the transitions still because you guys are asking about them so i'm gonna do them and also this one is from khan academy and i noticed that people were leaving comments saying this makes no sense and it had like a lot of upvotes so since the public has spoken that this question doesn't make sense we'll see well how can we make it make sense according to college board logic okay so here we're going to follow the khan academy and college root advice of be flexible okay be flexible so the category here is contrast but i don't want you guys to just think about that because so many of these are contrast right contrast i would say is about one third of all transition questions so me just doing it's one third of all of them doesn't necessarily give me that much information to work with okay so this one is going to be about use oh, use background info okay and the specific background info I'm going to be referring to, which I have spoken about on multiple videos, but I'll give you guys a refresher, uh, is the artist, okay? Because I've also gotten some feedback on from new subscribers that sometimes I refer to the old videos and they can't track them down all the time. So I'll try to give you guys the information um, each time. And if it's information that you've heard before, well, listen anyway, because I don't know, you, like, you guys like listening to me talk, right? Maybe. Okay, so here. Before I look at the text, notice that this is about an artist. Okay, so what did I say about the artist, guys? We're going to be appreciative of the artist, right? We covered that in multiple videos. And what are we appreciative of the artist for? For innovation. For doing things that are different. Okay. So what is that? They do something that nobody else does. And very, very specifically, it's actually crazy how specific this is, yet it gets repeated. They do cross genre work okay so take take something from their own um, heritage and they mix it with some european influence or they take something classical and they mix it with modern or people think that art and fashion can't be mixed but they do mix them all of those things are actual problems on the college board website so it's a very repetitive pattern okay so once i remember that this becomes a lot easier for me to keep track of so let's go through this question <laughs> So this artist is celebrated as the first Arabic poet to write in free verse. Okay, so this person was the first. So she did something. Is a, she's a pioneer, which is what we expect from our artists, right? She didn't reject traditional forms entirely, semicolon. So this is her example of, so they keep going back and forth here, which is, I think, why a lot of people said um, that this problem made no sense, quote unquote. So we have first idea she was the first one to do something second but she did have some tradition semicolon this is an example of tradition and this is the word that you're going to be looking for guys when i have did she do the new thing or the traditional thing new thing traditional thing for the new you want to look for synonyms like innovative different pioneer trailblazer right um creative any of those for the standard that's the word here for the old way, the conventional way, the common way, okay? So you want to be open-minded, flexible, according to their language, about those words. So this is an example of the standard thing she does, aka the traditional thing that she does, okay? And then this is where I think a lot of students didn't catch something. The students had questions about this. We have the word even. That already lets me know there should be a contrast. So we have, she was the first one to do things, so she does it differently. However, she does do tradition. However, she is not all the way traditional. Notice they're adding like three contrasts in one paragraph. You should not be writing like that. If I was your writing teacher, I would not want you to write like this, but that's why SAT gave you this question. So even in this superficially traditional work, other thing, vocab, superficial, pretty important word. It means on the surface. So superficially traditional work, it's not that's traditional, okay? So even in this superficial traditional work, however, it's a contrast, okay? So, so many things we could take here to um, expect it to be a contrast. Number one, we have the word standard right before, and on the SAT um, artist passage, my conclusion has to be not that she's standard, that she does stuff that is new. So I know if I have standard in the sentence right before, I have to come back to the new, okay? So that's one, I know I have to do the contrast. Number two, I have the word even in. Another clue that's a contrast, okay? Number three, I have superficially traditional. So if I have phrasings like superficially traditional or ostensibly something or apparently something, or it may appear like this, I'm always going to contrast it later. So I have three ways for me to know that this is um, 
It's going to be contrast. So let me clean this up. So the answer here is going to be though, because that's the contrast. Okay. Um, and then we can do so many things. How do I justify? Well, you have the word standard, but yet we are breaking new ground. So that's a contrast, right? So that pattern you can use, but I want you guys to take away from this and just remember for this variety of questions. So today's not even mainly on the transition. It's if I talk about an artist, right? I'm going to end up by talking about how different or um, special this person is. And that's usually about um, how they are breaking boundaries by mixing different genres. So I know by the end of the passage, I must come back to that point. So you can use that information on this transition question. You could also use it for the logical completion, aka inference questions, right? You could use it for a vocab question or a main purpose question. That content is not going to change. Okay. This is one of the, I guess, Cosworth's favorite things to refer to, right? So take that concept with you guys. So not just for the transition, but across all of the tests. Okay. And hopefully now this question does make sense. Maybe I'll leave this as a comment as well. And I am always on the lookout for questions that you guys have trouble with. So I found this while you know going through every Khan Academy question. If you guys have other questions, like specific ones, like links, screenshots, whatever, leave them in the comments or email us and I will get to your questions. Um, thanks for watching. Study every day with who? With Sexy J. It's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.